Welcome to a presentation about macular degeneration brought to you by your neighborhood doctors. Please remember that we will cover the topic in general terms. Please consult your doctors for specific questions pertaining to you. Macular degeneration is like a hole in the center of your vision. Imagine that you are looking through a window and there is a hole in the middle of it. You can still see the edges of the window, but the center is blocked off. That's what macular degeneration does to your vision. It blocks off the center of your vision, making it difficult to see details and colors. Macular degeneration is a condition that affects the macula, which is the part of the eye responsible for sharp central vision. Symptoms of macular degeneration can vary depending on the type and severity of the condition. Common symptoms include blurred or distorted vision, difficulty reading or recognizing faces, difficulty seeing in low light, and a blind spot in the center of your vision. You may also experience difficulty adapting to changes in light levels, such as when you move from a dark room to a bright one. In some cases, you may also experience color changes or straight lines appearing wavy. If you experience any of these symptoms, it is important to see an eye doctor right away so they can diagnose and treat your condition as soon as possible. Macular degeneration is a condition that affects people of all ages, but it is most common in those over the age of 60. It is estimated that more than 10 million Americans have some form of macular degeneration. It is also more common in women than men and Caucasians are more likely to be affected than other ethnicities. Additionally, those with a family history of macular degeneration are at an increased risk for developing the condition. Macular degeneration is caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. It is believed that genetics play a role in the development of macular degeneration as it tends to run in families. Additionally, certain lifestyle choices can increase the risk of developing macular degeneration, such as smoking, poor diet, and prolonged exposure to sunlight. Age is also a factor. Macular degeneration is more common in people over the age of 60. Finally, certain medical conditions can increase the risk of developing macular degeneration, such as high blood pressure and diabetes. Treatment for macular degeneration depends on the type and severity of the condition. In some cases, no treatment is necessary. However, if the condition is causing vision loss, there are several treatments available. For dry macular degeneration, there is no cure, but there are treatments that can slow down the progression of the disease. These include taking vitamins and minerals such as lutein and zeaxanthin, avoiding smoking and excessive exposure to sunlight, and using magnifying lenses to help with reading. For wet macular degeneration, there are several treatments available that can help slow down or even reverse vision loss. These include injections of anti vex medications into the eye to reduce abnormal blood vessel growth, laser surgery to seal leaking blood vessels, photodynamic therapy to destroy abnormal blood vessels, and vitrectomy surgery to remove scar tissue from the eye. Your doctor will discuss with you which treatment option is best for your particular case of macular degeneration. Macular degeneration is a progressive condition, meaning that it will worsen over time. The rate of progression varies from person to person, and can range from very slow to very rapid. In some cases, the condition may remain stable for many years. Unfortunately, there is no cure for macular degeneration at this time. However, there are treatments available that can help slow the progression of the disease and improve vision in some cases. These treatments include medications, laser therapy, and nutritional supplements. It is important to remember that macular degeneration is a chronic condition that requires ongoing management and monitoring by your doctor. Regular eye exams are essential in order to detect any changes in your vision or any signs of progression of the disease. With proper treatment and monitoring, you can maintain your vision for as long as possible. Thank you for listening to this presentation brought to you by Talking Raymond. For information, check us out retinally.com info. Be safe. Love you.